your shows. Yeah. We haven't actually talked about them no, because we last just, time we had a guest. Yeah, stupid guests who don't care about me, man. What the fuck? Well, there's a lot. Of, uh, whenever we have a guest, we can't talk about that much YouTube stuff in case they don't yeah. know about it. Because obviously, yeah, and obviously when we, we talk about stuff like this, this is very. And also, we can't talk to a guest and then just talk about me <laughs> or you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, how were they? Yeah, really good. Move on. on. No, no, they were really good. <laughs> so <laughs> so I, please don't do this. <laughs> no, I had two shows. I had one in, one in London on the Monday, one in Nottingham on the Wednesday. They were very, very sick. Loved them both. Different shows, which I thought was interesting. But, um, well, I was, no, sorry. Obviously, the different shows, but it was d very different to each other. But I thought that was interesting. Um, but really enjoyed it. Which ones did you prefer? Um, it's hard to say, really. I, 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 so that, it's hard to say. You have to. Okay. Then <laughs> I, I didn't prefer either of them because they were both good in their own way. But in London, it was more of like a, it felt more energetic in London. So the crowd were more like out there. Obviously you guys were there as well. I've had friends there, which is, was kind of cool. Made it more interesting. And then in the, in the Nottingham one, I think I had more people than to be fair, more people than Nottingham one by quite a decent bit. Um, but the crowd felt a little bit nervous. Or I think okay. it was the way the stage, the stage was higher. So it was like in London, it was like I'm, I'm like performing with them. Yeah. Whereas in, in Nottingham, I was like performing to them. So um, it, it, I had to do a bit more work to get them in, into the show, you know, like hands up, moving around, jumping around. So I had to work a little bit harder. Not that that's a bad thing, because obviously crowds are always, always different. And it's my job anyway to entertain them. It's not their job. Um, but I'd say that's different. Also, my family were there. So I think I've said to you before, I'm always nervous. When, yeah, I, when, yeah. I, when, I, when I perform to people I know, I'm really nervous. But with you guys, I was less nervous, to be fair, because you all know me as like Randolph anyway. So it's like I'm just doing what I do now. Yeah. Whereas like people at home, you know, there's some people that I maybe didn't know me as Randolph much because I'm, I'm always doing that in my room or you know, in London, et cetera, et cetera. So it was quite daunting to show that side of me to them, but I, I did enjoy it, I really did. Well, stuff like your diss track and other songs, is it's like, that's our world. Yeah. So we've all heard it, we've all reacted to it, you've seen our reactions. Yeah. We've wrapped it to you kind of thing. Yeah. So that, but when you're doing it to your parents, like- A bit weird. You're doing a deadly diss track <laughs> yeah. to your parents. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, it's a little Big star weird. fucking bitches that turn yeah. you down. <laughs> yeah. um, what was, what was I say? It's not the boner and shit. But no, so it's funny because my, my, I always try and not look at the people I know in the crowd. And at the Nottingham show, my mum was sat at the back at like a, like a de it's, a, it's a bar as well. So she like sat on the table and there was like a spotlight on her. Yeah. So throughout the entire show, I could just see my mum. <laughs> I was like, oh no. But it was, it was really nice. I had some friends come, which was sick. I had some friends that didn't go, which wasn't sick. What? I'm saying I had some lifelong friends who didn't even turn up. Oh, I thought you were looking at John. No, no, John didn't have to turn up, but he came to London one. Yeah, no, that's, that's, what I'm saying, that's you know? why I was like confused. I was like, he was there, I saw. Yeah, not, not <laughs> if London. he wasn't, then who was I talking to? No, no, I was saying in Nottingham, some people didn't go. Uh, but it's fine, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't hold grudges. <laughs> no, I don't really. But no, I was sick of you guys to come to London. That really made my day. Well, I, I, I wanted to go to Nottingham as well. Yeah, I was busy yeah. on the Wednesday. Yeah, so I think, yeah, I think you, for sure you would have come. I think, I think, yeah, JJ didn't come to the Nottingham show because he was busy, but he would have come for sure if he could. Yeah, um, how was that? Having, having JJ turn up at your show? Yeah, no, no, that so was sick. So you always like, yeah. you've done shows together and you've turned up at his shows, but you've never done a show in Yeah, no, that was sick. That day as well, I don't want to spoil what he was doing, but he was doing some really busy stuff. He had Simon filming, I think, uh, or maybe the, the podcast, Simon podcast, and then something else that he filmed and then came over to the show. So I really appreciate him coming through. Um, it was really nice. I think it was good as well. Met, met up with the people who like put the show on. Obviously, uh, JJ's agent or manager put the show on. But I met the people who run the company kind of thing. Um, so hopefully we do more shows in the future with some, it was a very tight turnaround. It's like a one month to turn it around. I've never performed it ever on my own show. So it was interesting and fun to build that, but hopefully put some more music out and do another show in the future, Yeah. Um, which would be really good. But I'm, I'm, I was excited because I, I don't like bragging, uh, sorry, I don't like bigging myself up at all. So when the show were announced, obviously like you guys came through and I Josh said, can I come through as well? So I was like, yeah, sure. Freezy and Calyx mentioned it, but they never like, committed they just mentioned it but then on the day josh was like who else is coming and i was like i think it's just you and simon and then josh was like should i put it in the troops chat i was like if you want to so then he did and then to be fair cal and cal came through which was really nice um the rest didn't so wow. again don't hold grudges no I'm, I'm kidding real friends <laughs> no, no they were busy so uh, does it make you want to do more yeah it does it does i mean i'm, I'm very nervous for shows so i was really glad when they were over because i've done them now but it, it, it's i don't dislike I don't, I don't, i'm not like i don't dislike that feeling it's just when you you can, you're always nervous, aren't yeah. you? Even KSI gets nervous for shows. Yeah. You know what? So this is kind of relevant. I found it mad. I was looking yesterday. Yeah. Do you know how many songs me and you have released this year? In 2021? Yeah. Zero. One. One. Well, January 1st. The, the Disney one. Yeah. January 1st. Yeah, this year's been weird, day. you know. I think this year, I mean, I, when, when we speak about COVID and the stuff that, I, that the impact has made, I think this year, in a weird way, has been worse than 2020. 
because 2020 was the first lockdown and we were going through it. So we were, it was very impactful. So our lives were changing. Our lives were changing. We were doing different things. We were adapting to it. So like Zoom calls or whatever, or Discord, pub quizzes and all that. Then 2021, it was like back to normal, but it wasn't normal. So it just flew, flew by, if that makes sense. Yeah. So like we, we got to do a lot more stuff, but things were, it's like a trick. You know, 2021, you knew the boundaries. Sorry, 2020, you knew the boundaries. 2021, it's like weirdly up in the air. Yeah. Um, so for me, I, 2021, looking back, it was a tough year, especially obviously we started, I started ACE. So my year was pretty much gone. I, I was half in London, half traveling there, living out of a hotel room, which is not great. Um, so it's very inconsistent, but yeah, busy year hasn't been. I mean, to be fair, I, that's, that's probably the reason we've not done any songs because I was at ACE. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. And then it got to the point where you announced your show and we were kind of yeah. like, like, A slowed down a bit yeah. in terms of like, you actually had time. Mm -mm. And then you announced your shows and it was like, okay, don't start working on new songs when you're trying to do a That's, show yeah. where you're not going to perform them. I kind of I kind of dropped everything as well for my shows because I said before, if I'm filming a video or even a podcast, like to be fair, I can come to a podcast pretty unprepared and it'd still be a good podcast if we yeah. just waffle. But like at a show, you can't go to a show unprepared because you have to perform. Yeah. You can't hide behind anything, you know. If I'm shooting a video, I, oh, I can't do this today or I'll push it back tomorrow, blah, 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 blah. Show, you have to do it. So And I, was unpre I wasn't prepared because it, it happened so quickly and I had so much other stuff to do. So a week before the show, I was like, right, I'm just going to cancel everything and do nothing but the show. Um, and obviously it was a good show, but it worked out in the end. But um, yeah, hopefully now I've got my studio set up so we can do some music. Well, uh, we're going to aim for one song every month. Shit, sure, okay. Yeah? I'm down. Every month. I'm trying to do, I'm, I'm going to do a Randolph song every week, but I know I won't. Every week. It's Damn. That's what I've always wanted to do, because I'm, I'm, I'm not bad at making, I'm sorry, I can make songs and I can make them quickly, but I just, I always uh, procrastinate on putting them out, like music videos, so I'm just going to drop them out, see what happens. Yeah. But I'm down. Just get, just, just yeah, we just, flat. If, you, if anyone out there is good at just like lyric videos. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, for sure. Because that's the easiest way. Just chuck out a lyric video. Yeah. And then if the song bangs, then you could do a music video. That's the thing as well. Like a lot of artists don't need to do like, YouTube because they're not a, they don't have the background. So they just put yeah. the songs out normally. But whereas for me, I always feel like I have to put something out there that's substantial. And that's where I stop. <laughs>